Hey, this is Jim from Jägermeister. We're here at Slam Dunk. The weather is gorgeous for a change. And we're here with the guys from Devil Sold His Soul. And it must be a bit of a weird thing for you guys today. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange mood, I guess. It's well, bit, yeah. We're all super happy. We're in a great mood, but yeah, it's a bit bittersweet. Yeah, it's a kind of melancholy, but it's exciting and saddening at the same time. So, yeah. I mean, for those watching this that might not know, what's happened? Basically, at the end of the year, we kind of all had a big chat about where the band was going and stuff, and I just feel like I can't commit to sort of year-round touring anymore because I just need to make a living, really. Standard boring crap, really, but just kind of at that point in my life, I think, and um, after nine years, it's, it's quite a long time. So, yeah, it's like a kind of sad, but it's just like a normal thing, and they've got uh, Paul to replace me and stuff, so all full steam ahead, I guess. Yeah. It was, it was definitely, we were kind of shell-shocked when, when Ed mentioned it, but obviously we completely 100% understand reasoning by any, anyone with any common sense would. So, I mean, it's, um, as Ed mentioned, we, we managed to find Paul Green, who was previously in a Arusha record, um, after us kind of crapping ourselves going, how can we find anyone that, you know, can do any, any justice? And then we found Paul and thing, things are good, so. I mean, nine years, that, that must be knackering. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> that's all part of the reasoning, I guess. I mean, I still love it musically, and I love playing shows, but I just I, I just don't know if I can hack sing in the back of the van any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you're not that... Well, the, th the thing is, to me, uh, like, I've, I was a, a, a latecomer to the party. I've only been, only been with Devil maybe five years. So, so you've got another four years, basically. Yeah, At least another, another four, years, and four years shelf life, and then... I need to sling me up, really. I mean, I, I guess it must be, yeah, kind of suck a bit talking about all this stuff, essentially doing a post-mortem yeah, on really your, good, your career. Like today and yesterday doing press, it was kind of, usually we just go to press and we f around and have a good time and yeah. talk about moustaches, as you're fairly aware, but, um, yeah, it's, it's just a bit of a weird mood, really. I mean, today, getting a bit more used to it than yesterday. Yesterday was a bit of a bum out, to be honest. Yeah. We like doing press, but. Yeah. Well, in that case, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's do it. Instead of moustaches, Let's talk about hair. I mean, yeah. your hair is always silky soft. <laughs> like whenever I've seen you on stage, it just it's it's like a a furry waterfall. Aww. How do you keep it that way? Uh, I don't know really. I only wash it every now and again because my hair's so. As a point, right? This is a really boring conversation, but cool about right? five years ago, I was washing my hair every day, and my hair was literally fading. Like it was just going like some weird colour so I had to stop washing it every day so uh, I wash it every uh, few days now and use uh, dry shampoo. When you said it goes a weird colour what are you like part albino or something? It's sort of it was almost going like this like just horrible I faded brown it, it like did fade. it, did it was fade. weird as fuck I don't know. I've never known anyone's hair just to fade through washing it but mine did and uh, yeah. it's sort of like denim hair. Denim hair yeah. Stonewash hair. <laughs> Brilliant. I actually got to the point where it's so off with it, I dyed it, it's oh, just back to being brown again, yeah. but how it should have been. <laughs> yeah. Well mate, to be honest, I look like a bleeding tabby cat. I've got all the colours uh, going like on there. My friend, uh, well, ex-bassist of Devil Ian, um, he just has this like rainbow of yeah. sunburst beard, which like it sort of starts light and gets darker and all, but then he's got like these white bits around here. I think like our, our front of house engineer as well, Avis, he's oh, got, he's got a, his beard, his beard is hench like massive um but he's got like kind of strands of dare i say, dare I say ginger in there yeah, and stuff like that it isn't even sunburst it's just every hair is like a different color yeah yeah it's amazing so if you you know if you lose a bit of thread for a button it, like he's bound to have oh, like a, a bit of, like bit of twine in there that you could <laughs> fix it up with it's, it's good it's fine so a lot of, sort of like a an her suit macgyver yeah. if you exactly <laughs> yeah it, every tailor has an avis behind him just in case oh sh so we we've got a neon pink like magenta yeah that's just bing there you go and you can just sort it out straight away it's really good so uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's move swiftly away from yeah, this yeah, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, yeah. bit strange <laughs> um how slam dunk treating you guys today it's great it's always a wicked mood at slam dunk this is the yeah. third time we played i think and yeah it's just always good fun it's always it always good vibes and like seeing a lot of friends as well that we normally i mean i have i've seen so many people that i haven't seen in maybe two three years because of like differences in the touring festivals and like stuff like that um 
but yeah, it's treating us really well. I hope, hopefully the sun is going to treat me well and not get me burned because I literally I burn within like three seconds. So, yeah. It's terrible. I'm, I'm awful. I normally go this colour, that colour right there. He had a watch ingrained into his wrist for about three years. Yeah. Oh, I made the mistake of wearing like a deep V-neck to download one year and I still have the deep V tan line. It's oh, insane, years. right? He had a V and then his oh, slit, his arms, the Bandit. watch. Yeah. And he was wearing shorts, so he was just down here. But then he had like sock, um, yeah. like mark, like lines, Sorry. and um, he had like a fringe, but like line in his head as well. And I literally had all the tan lines: I had fringe tan line, yeah, sunglass tan line. line. I had the the socks. red stripes from my so like from my legs. I just shorts. looked like a bit of a knob, um, really. What? I was he was a <laughs> mess. <laughs> he I was, was a mess. We were at practice, and uh, he he was just sat there. I think he was just like in his short, just just in some shorts because yeah. he was just in so much pain. He was just like blistering and like <laughs> weeping. And you, you just I remember you turning to me going, You're "You a look mess. a mess." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna." And I just started crying. I was like, Ugh. "Well, you've not helped yourself wearing a backless t-shirt today." I haven't. No, <laughs> I, I knew well. <laughs> I knew something was gonna happen. Like someone's gonna come up behind me and like write something in suntan lotion, and just I'm gonna be screwed forever. So. Well, that's what we're doing after this video. Oh, amazing. Oh, okay, that's Screw cool. A massive cock, man. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nice one, guys. Thank you very much, Thank and you. all the best. You. Cheers, man. Thanks.